Can we have the next question from non-Muslim brothers at the back? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Uh, good evening, Dr. Zage Naik. Uh, my name is Kamal Nadan. I'm a student. And my question is, a uh, few years back, Malaysian Fadwa Council, they banned uh, Muslims from doing yoga. They say it's against uh, Islam. Is that true? I, is it true from the point of Al-Quran? Thank you. So that's the question that some council in Malaysia banned Muslims from doing yoga because it's against Islam. Brother asking that is it against the Quran? Brother, yoga is a form of exercise which is derived from various places including the Vedas. And in yoga you may say things, for example, I'm aware of something, I'm not an expert in yoga, but I'm aware that in yoga you may have to say certain things like Om and narrate and chant certain things. All these things may lead to shirk. It may lead to shirk. That means you are calling somebody else as the creator besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Islam, as I mentioned in my talk, according to Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 48, and Surah Nisa chapter 4, verse 116, Allah will forgive any sin, but the sin of shirk will never forgive. Shirk is associating partners with God. So if you associate anyone else with God, call anyone else God besides the true God Allah, then it is shirk. So these things many a times lead to shirk. So I do agree with the Malaysian council that they banned Muslims from doing yoga. It makes me kind and a better human. 